All right, I think I got everything we need to open this thing up. <laughs> I think this will work? I hope so. Welcome back, guys. We have got a big old wooden box here from Icebox. And I called Jonathan. I said, hey, well, let's go from the beginning. They shipped it to the airport in Tampa. They're trying to get it here in time to go sled pulling last weekend. It made it there, but we didn't have time to put it in and make a good video. So we've got this boy. I called my buddy Chaz. I said, Chaz, go to the airport and grab a box with a radiator in it. I didn't tell him how big it was. <laughs> so he shows up there and picks up this big box. He's had it in his truck for the, over the weekend. I called Jonathan. I said, hey, we go pick up radiator right Chaz's house. He had no problem. Yeah. This is what you're expecting? No, it wasn't. <laughs> I was thinking it's definitely boy, a lot smaller. He, oh my gosh. Yeah, you're gonna need a forklift. So Icebox got a hold of those guys, said, hey, we need a freaking radiator for the pulling truck because it's leaking bad. And look what we got here. It's time to bring this boy in the shop and open it up. This thing is no joke. I've never put a radiator in a semi truck before. And we're putting a cam in the pulling truck this week too out of a 800 horsepower marine engine, Caterpillar. So we gotta pull the radiator off of it anyways to do the cam. So I figured we'll do it all at the same time. It'd be just freaking cherry. So yeah. let's get the forklift because are you gonna think we, think we can get it? No, we ain't picking this Come thing Come on, let's up. try it. Well, I'm just kidding, we get the radiator. Oh, uh, <laughs> forklift, heck with that. All right, since we're playing with big trucks, gotta use big tractors. Hey, while you're at it, just pick up the whole truck. I'm What'd kidding, I'm kidding, I'm What'd kidding. What? I'm kidding. Motherfucker. Hope I don't mess up that tailgate. Yeah. We'll find out. Oh, oh shit. shoot. Wait, Shoot. I could be messing up that nice toolbox. Yeah, that's what I'm, we're aiming for. Oh boy. <laughs> this thing is big. All right, I think I got everything we need to open this thing up. <laughs> think this will work? I hope so. Here, Jonathan, put your finger right there. I'm gonna turn them sausages into freaking pancakes. Yeah, something like <laughs> sausage patties. <laughs> Shh. Uh oh. Hey. Good thing about this, you get a raider from these boys. You can go build a back porch on your joint. <laughs> Some nice packaging. Oh, better be careful. All right, check that boy out. I tell y'all what, I tell y'all what, <laughs> dang. All right, Jonathan, pick it up out of there for me. Yeah, right. We can ship you back to freaking Oregon where this thing came from. <laughs> Deal. Like there's staples in the side of it. Hmm. Oh, look, dang, you're smarter than I am. Shoot. Huh. I think if I smack it one time, it'll come loose. I think, I think they forgot to put one on. There we go. All right, pick it up out of there. Yeah, no. You grab that side, I'll grab this side. That sucker probably. Oh my gosh. Now listen, listen, Linda. When we pick this thing up, we're we'll going that way. And lay it on the ground. Yep, that way. One, two, two three. Team lift. What the heck's holding it? <laughs> Figured it out. Eat it. Come Never on. Never mind. It's taking too long. What did we name Bobby around here? There was some vehicle we named Bobby. Who was it? Oh, the skid steer. Oh, yeah, that's right, Bobby. I'm not no skid steer. <laughs> no. Come on, Linda. We're going to have to just burn Nick's Ford to the ground one day. I'm going to. Come on. That's good. Just lay her down there, Daddy O. <laughs> the pins still come out. I don't think this is too big for it. That's what she said. No, you haven't, Brad. <laughs> All right, we got to bring this bird back here out of the way. Yep, that did a good job. Now, we just got to get the old one out. All right, Ryan, we'll get the old one out. Yeah, <laughs> funny.
You gotta be on time, dude. Come on. I'm on time Nick, always. Nick, Ryan is about to have to get fired. Uh, oh. oh, guess what's calling? Your mom. Oh, oh, got him. What'd you do that for? Whenever you mounted this, Ryan, I told you. <laughs> I freaking told you. I got you on video, you mounted. <laughs> It got in between, so whenever the engine torqued, the whole engine laid over and it blew. <laughs> Randy, we're gonna have to get this thing fixed. Oh my goodness, but it looks cool like that, you know? It gives it character, so we just need to extend our pipe up a little bit. Had all the EGTs. Literally. All of them. All of them. So we're out here the next night, we're getting this radiator out of this bird. We gotta pull the hood off of it, pull the charge air, all this stuff. We're gonna be putting a cam in it and a whole nother video, so make sure you check that one out. Um, it may have actually, it probably already came out, but here we are getting this radiator out. We're gonna get the new one stuffed in here from Icebox Performance. And I see a few differences, but I think the stuff will work and bolt up. So let's get this old one out. And this thing has been in here since like 1987, so. Ryan and his little, little slide talking behind the camera there. Going to get him beat up one day. <laughs> All right. Should we check the turbo and see if she's still there? Yep, it's still there. That boy was a singing, too. Ow, dang. Dang, that hurt. All right, we're going to get this freaking hood off. Um, I don't know yet. We just need to get this boy out of here. Um, I guess I can pull a spring off, and then we'll get the cables off afterwards. Okay. I don't know how heavy one of these hoods is. It can't be that heavy. I mean, yeah, it was pretty heavy the other day when you picked it up, wasn't it? It wasn't light, but... <laughs> Too bad we don't have any pallets we can stack up and put it right on top of. That'd be the easiest thing. Too bad you destroyed the last pallet. You know what? I'm about to... <laughs> to get your fingers? Yep, we're good. We're gonna have to remove these lights here. Should we just cut them? You won't. I might it's have to. Flip. What's that? Yeah, I know. Don't take it loose yet. No. This boy gonna go whoop. <laughs> what do we got? We don't have any cardboard boxes. The only thing I can think of is the Call. table. Call Brad. That would be the uh, stand to do the clutch. Cut. Help. Good. Yep. All right, we'll get these injectors off this table. Do some organization. I just got a phone call. I know that we were looking for some weights for the pulling truck. My dad sponsored a guy slash donated a guy a ton of weights for his old um, tug of war truck. And he said, we come out there and grab them. His dad let him ha use them, have them, whatever. He says, if you get rid of them, make sure they come back to me. So we're gonna go get them. And if you guys are familiar with tractor weights, you know how expensive them boys are. So we're gonna head out there and go grab them. Let's see if we can get this hood off first. You follow me? Oh, oh, perfect. What about the swamp? The swamp. It, we're going to pick the hood up in a second, Ryan. <laughs> Got a Harbor Freight blanket. We got to pull this hood off of here. Money. Yeah. Oh, dang. This thing is way heavy without the springs on it. <laughs> That's about all we got. Once it, once it comes off there, we can just slide it forward. So. I swear, <laughs> my mom will get the heck out of the way. <laughs> Take your Jesus clips. Eat, oh, whoa, ho. Oh. Oh, jeez. These clips up here. You grab to do a flathead and get your clip off? Yep. Take them boys off. That boy back on there. We don't want to lose it. All right, so we've got one side loose. Move over to the other side. It's going to work out pretty good. We'll have to keep this table around. Mm. 
Didn't care. All right. Should we just back the truck up? That might be the easiest thing. Oh, that'd be kind of sick. Just back it away from the hood. Yeah, that'd be cool. It, it is kind of just sitting there. I guess we'll do that. on the fender in the front of the table. Right. Oh, 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 Merry Christmas. Hey, <laughs> There's Ryan's car alarm going off already. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, a little Kia Sonata. Kia <laughs> Sonata. All right, we'll pull her back in here. Let's go get them weights. Oh, they say my hinder hole. Nope. Ouch. Okay, turn it over. There you go. Oh, it might only be the corner ones. <laughs> we made it out here to Mr. Gant's house. My dad sponsored him these weights years and years ago. And he said, come get them. But he's also got some other weights he said we can borrow the time being let's go check these things out they are h-u-g-e huge so over here are more weights we're gonna dig these boys out here but there's also this huge piece of steel full of lead and that thing's gonna weigh at least a thousand pounds or more probably more than that honestly we put that right on top of the Go sled pulling bar yeah. and this other big piece right there we're gonna find out how heavy it is when he picks up the skid steer <laughs> All right, shine your light, right? You got your flashlight, Nick, or in your pocket light, or no? No, my, I forgot it in the shop. All right. I can go grab my uh, phone to have my phone light. Right. Look at all these ants. Stick your hand there, Ryan. I'll give you 100 bucks. No. It's like, uh, what's the dare show? Would you rather? No. Truth or dare? No. <laughs> Just never mind. <laughs> Truth or dare? What the heck? All right. Dude, you're gonna get torn up. My throat. Ooh, song. All right. We got some weights. We're gonna get these boys installed tomorrow night. Take a breath. Fat. Come Let's, on. Let's uh, get back to the shop and get the radiator at an old business expense. All right. Back at the shop, got those weights picked up. Let's get to putting this ice box radiator in this here unit. First things first, we gotta get these intercooler pipes off. And we might as well take the whole things off because we're gonna be doing cam and all that goodness on here. So let's, uh, we're just gonna start ripping on this thing and pulling and tearing and ripping. Demo. Demo derby lishing this, whatever that means. Um, Nick, will you grab some PV blaster? Some of these clamps are older than Ryan's. That's what you say. I ain't very old. Yes, you are. You were born in 88, weren't you? All right. We'll get the intercooler off of here. That's a 9 16 um, We need to spray. I guess we can flip the bumper up, Ryan. If you don't mind, flip the bumper up. and we'll... We're not ready to pull that off yet. Uh, what do we need to spray? I don't know. Everything. Maybe we don't need to spray anything quite yet. We need to. That's gonna be fun. Wire wheel, see if we can't get the paint off of that. Yeah, we're gonna have to do. Maybe we can do that on both sides if you okay. want. Okay. All right. I think we're about ready for this here intercooler to come out. That's hot. Shoot. Ah, uh, we'll get these pipes busted loose off of here. Oh, it's about to fall off. Better be careful. Just chilling on top of the radiator at this point. All right, Nick, you want to grab that side? Yep. Ouch! You good? Yep. We're gonna go with it. Uh, just out of the way. Well, not in the way, but out of the way. Maybe right in front just of straight you. over here. Since we're gonna be putting this thing back in, 
Well, we gotta get a bigger intercooler. I wonder who we can get one of those from. Yeah, that's gotta be. Icebox big. Performance, they build big intercoolers too. You talking about custom intercoolers and oh, factory big. replacement intercoolers for semi trucks? Oh. Yep. Maybe we'll have to talk to them fellers. All right. Now what? Now we see this 1988 copper radiator in this boy. I need you to lay underneath it, open your mouth, and we'll drain all the coolant out. Yeah. That ain't no uh, Kool-Aid. Oh, yeah? No. Walking around. Walking around, That's doing random doing stuff. Walking around, doing random stuff. Yeah. You're just digging your hole deeper, bud. What do you mean? He's walking around doing random stuff, not working. Trying to find stuff to do around here. That's what Ryan says he does all day. Walks around and does random stuff all day. Not working. Post videos. God, it's so hard. That's hard work you do. No, it ain't day. hard at all. You're about as good as they come. One in our cooler pipe off. One. One left to go. Oh, shoot. Bam! The heck with working on regular cars and trucks. These big trucks are way easier to work on. And man, I'm glad we got something we can actually work on too, you know, like the Trider Taxi, we can't tear into it. You we could. We think about putting a bigger radiator in, it, in that boy too. Get rid of that plastic job and put a nice aluminum one in it one day, but. You could tear into it. But we just can't because it. of the EPA. The EPA would get pissed. Brian don't know what the EPA is, but. Sounds like a disease or something. No freaking idea. Uh -huh. one day, Ryan. All right, let's get the coolant drained out of this boy. And uh, we're gonna be replacing these valves right here too on the engine, getting rid of all these valves. Oh. So, got some pretty cool stuff going on. Take that in right there, bush or loose. She come right on off there. What song is that? I don't know the name of it. Just make it up as you go. Yeah. Um, we may have to go fold the bumper back down temporarily. Oh, maybe not. Yes, go fold the bumper. This clamp ain't wanting to do it today. We're gonna take her off. We're putting new clamps on here anyway, so. It's coming loose. Today. Somehow. So before we get this hose off here, she's starting to drain a little bit. The reason we're replacing this radiator is you can see right here at these seams where the metal has started to expand and everything is corroded really bad. These old gaskets are terrible shape. Um, even down here on the sides, you can see where it's been leaking. All this white stuff right here, some kind of corrosive something coming out of this radiator and it's just frankly it's old so I wonder how hard you can throw a hammer at this radiator oh. you need hammers oh it's like axe so do we have an axe oh uh, uh, we have a pickaxe yeah I'm good we're testing a factory Peterbilt radiator durability here there you go I don't think that would look right, Nick. We've got a brand new bale spear here. And I've always wanted to do the... Hang on. The javelin. Javelin. I was going to say jousting. I think I can get... Probably it's going to go all the way through. It's going to poke a hole in the front of the engine. <laughs> here, hold on. Just don't throw it that hard. Would that go between... I don't think it'll go between the fan and the rate and... Oh, no. Screw it, you ready? No. Oh, you ready? really want to do that? Ready? Oh, what do we hit? Oh. Oh. We're shoot. good. We're Dang, good. Dude. We're good. Dang. Someone, you're leaking, you're leaking, you're leaking. Oh shoot. Someone could have used this radiator to cool their home. <laughs> oh. Well since it's, it's not cold anymore, now is when you have to drain the water. Yeah, we've, we've got to we've got to change the antifreeze. Oh, <laughs> so much for fixing got that. <laughs> Hurry up! It's a race against time, against the clock. 
Ryan, you're making a mess. Dude, Dude it is that? really flowing. What the heck, Ryan? Yeah, hit me, hit me. It's gonna flow like freaking Noah's Ark here in a minute. <laughs> like Noah's Ark. I don't know. Oh! We got a gusher! We got a gusher. Gosh. No. Oh, oh, You're missing oh. the whole comp no, freaking go flip the bumper up, hurry. <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> oh. That's a big mess. Nick. It's already done. It's already done. We can It's gonna take the whole barrel of oil dry. Hey, Ryan, you make me so mad. <laughs> Bumper? Oh, <man>. shh. <laughs> All right. Clean it up. <laughs> definitely have to replace some of these clamps. These boys are rusty. Great. Just great. We know where that went, right in the freaking thing. Right in the drain bucket. <laughs> Ryan, I told you to be careful of this radiator. Look what you did. Oh! Dude, you are making a mess. <sighs> I think Nick wire wheeled them bolts and uh, put some penetrating blaster on there. Come out of your home. All right. It looks like we might be getting close to pulling this thing off. We've got to uh, get those bottom bolts out of the rad. She'd be ready to come out of there. Oh, shoot. Is this how crackheads do it? <laughs> I'm trying to get this scrap money. Stuff. About to throw my back out. <laughs> thing up out of here. Dude, I'm covered. This has got to be the easiest way to pull a radiator out of a semi. The easiest way. Jeez. Oh, we got to remember the uh, fan blades too. Yeah. You have to go up and then look like that. All right, pick her up. Oh, jeez. There you go, you're good. Send her up. Easy on the bumper, what the? Don't touch the tree. And there you have it. That is how you pull a Peterbilt radiator out just as fast as you can possibly think. And that boy is out of there 
This is a good time for Ryan to do some cleaning. Yeah, I, think. <laughs> I think tomorrow morning. <sighs> well, should we back the truck? You want to hop in there and back it up? Yeah. I'll do that. You don't even want to drive a stick. I'll find a gear and put it in there. Hey, Bruce. Um, there's like no coolant in there. That's because you spilled it all over the ground. You did one job today, Ryan. <laughs> You're full of it. <laughs> you push? You think you're gonna miss this and hit, hit the truck? Yeah. Dude, I wanna try that. Got my rear. <laughs> so we're back attending putting the radiator truck. The cam is in there and it is ready to rip. We've got all new hoses somewhere around here, new clamps put in here also. This icebox radiator is just the cat's meow. We're gonna get this shroud bolted back up on here. Uh, what else we got left to do on this boy? get her put in there and this should cool the truck a lot better we're going to be putting a bigger air to air intercooler on this truck here in the very near future um, we're actually i forgot to mention we're going out to oregon to icebox performance we're going to build our air to air intercooler ourselves me and ryan oh well, mainly me i don't no. know if i trust you with a welder no i'm a great welder i, I freaking print dimes all right <laughs> what? so anyhow we're gonna get this thing put in here get the shroud put back on here and uh let's get it done Oh, he is. Okay. All right. I see you. I see you. Get these washers put in here. The shroud put back on here. Hopefully, I got enough of these bolts. We got to get some more bolts for our bolt bins. Yeah. Bolts. Bolts. Mm. Nuts. So while we're putting new, uh... you just can't speak. <laughs> so since we're putting a new radiator in it, we're going to be putting brand new hoses on it. And I've got some new hoses right here. Ow. Napa only sells them in three foot lengths and some new like boost style clamps to go on them. So instead of those hose clamps, we're going to have some nice clamps to go on these boys. Dang. So I went to too. Napa. I usually go shopping at Napa myself. They usually don't babysit me. And I went, up, went upstairs and I did it just like that. And they scanned just this one. No way. And I walked, walked out the door and was like, yeah, do the old trash can <laughs> trick on you. You know what that is, don't you? No. <laughs> Where you go to Walmart, you get a trash can, put as much stuff in it as possible and put a lid on it and you go pay for the trash can. Dude. That's where you're going to go grocery shopping. <laughs> Heck yeah. They're going to be looking for me now. <laughs> What'd you say? You Catch. Hey. Catch. <laughs> <laughs> or when you scan a uh, uh, 55 smart TV as a lemon, type it in the self checkout as a lemon. Oh, so Jonathan has got a bad problem of coming up to the shop after he gets off work, all dressed up nice to go eat dinner. He comes up here of all places. Yeah. Get ready. You want to joust? Here, see if you can put it in there. <laughs> Trick shot. 
You guys watch Donut Operator, you know what we're talking about. All right, Nick's about got those tightened down in there. We're gonna get this thing hoisted up and uh, get it put on here. Woo. Boom. You need to watch your mouth. <laughs> I didn't say no nasty words, did you? Oh, dude. We keep the treader taxi pristine and clean and nice and fresh. We want this truck to look nice too. This is a freaking workhorse. This is not. You beat the heck out of this thing. Because <laughs> it's a worker. My buddy Ryan up in Wisconsin, he told me, he's like, you gotta remember these are pulling trucks and they're working machines. They're not something you just show up and show and you know, you know what I'm trying to say. All right, got this thing tight, Nick? Yep. All right, we just need a strap or maybe there's some old flag rope right here. Or we got that, uh, where's that strap that we had? Going up on a Thursday. Okay. Oh, it's just gonna line right up. Yeah, it's gonna drop right in there. Hopefully this is the last time we ever have to do this and you're standing right in front of my camera shot. You're what? Come on, cameraman Ryan. Trying to get a sweet reel. Pants on the ground, <laughs> pants on the ground. Pants on the ground, pants on the ground. Like Ooh, with your pants on. The All right, hopefully this chain fall don't break. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, that would certainly not feel good. Hold on. Oh. Yep, go ahead. Wait a minute. Oh, hold on. Hold it. Watch out. Let me touch you now. I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna touch you. <laughs> All right. My dad's old mechanic, Ed, did that. He watches the video sometimes. Shout out to Ed. <laughs> Edward, as I like to call him, just to make him mad. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, I tell you guys what, since Evolution and our friends over at JB Tools sent us this power saw for cutting metal, we have used this thing like four times a day compared to where we were using like torch and sawzalls, stuff like that. And it made that cut right there for our radiator supports in like 10 seconds. Not even. Yeah, not even exactly like, which is crazy because saws all we would have burnt a blade up. So it's crazy just having the right tools for the job, how 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 they make life so much easier. It looks like we need to trim the top off of that too. So all radiators and radiator mounts are different depending on years, stuff like that. So. I'm sure if I would have sent Icebox pictures of this, they would have welded the right brackets on here, but we got one here really quick so we get this thing in. So we're gonna make some, but thankfully the sides of this are steel. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna make this fit and then we're just gonna grind it, clean it off, clean that off, throw some welds on it, and it'll be there where it needs to be. There we go. Another cut in like 10 seconds. That boy's gonna go right there just like that. Lean the radar forward and bada boom. Bada boom. Bada box. So we'll get this uh, paint knocked off here or knock paint off there. Roll the welder around here and we'll whip this boy up.
just like that right there. So we'll get our welder rolled over here. I didn't really mess with this jam nut right there. I kind of left it where it was on both sides. So, oh, I got to screw this boy down in there. I'm pretty sure because, I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. We'll adjust it where we want it. We're going to tell it what to do. It doesn't tell us what to do. Okay. Random socket. Okay. Kind of way. Can't be losing sockets. Ooh, that boy's hot tamale. Dimes. I don't know about dimes, but they ain't bad. Hopefully the Icebox performance guys can appreciate my work. Show me. There it is. Guess I should have put this in there first because now I'm going to screw this all the way out. I was going to, I was going to tell you that. No. Oh, sure you were. Yeah. Were you? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Just know how you get, it, so I didn't. <laughs> oh, yeah, that ain't gonna work, Nick. <laughs> Look. Yeah, that's. So we had to make a new spacer on the bottom because one of them was just rotted and rusted out. I'm sure a lot of you guys know. So that's not gonna work. I think the other side should work okay. Yeah, that boy's there. Let's take it back loose and figure out that spacer. Deal. You didn't hit me with the okay. Are you okay now? Good. So, we had to make a custom wrench. <laughs> I cut it, flipped it over, and welded it back on there because this one bolt was being a massive pain. So, we officially have our Peterbilt radiator wrench. It fits in there good. Well, it, it did. Until? Until Ryan had to say, oh, let me see it. All right, there we go. See if we can tighten her up the rest of the way. I think we're good now. Can you get that out? Maybe. <laughs> Pull it. No, just give one, one swift yank. There we go. Maybe we snug the other side up a little bit now. We can try since we got this fancy, fancy wrench. <laughs> Next Wednesday, when Snap-on comes by again, we're selling our tool. <laughs> Bet y'all ain't got nothing like this. For $50 a week, every week, every year. For, no, for the rest of our lives. Oh, okay. They get uh, use rights. Rights on the usage of it. There you go. Ready? Yep. Why are you still filming? Boy, you told me to cut. I said cut, yeah. I, you, no. I did tell you to cut. <laughs> no, you didn't. We've got our mounts all welded up. I threw some paint on there. Ryan <laughs> Ryan got our old rubber hoses cut off here. We got a new one. We're gonna cut that in our evolution saw. <laughs> what did we try cutting last time that didn't end so well? Freaking oh, that was all that the wire the hose, no, the hose for the uh, Habib tractor. No, that oh, yeah. was the the yeah. drain hose. No, no, that was the the metal string. There's all kinds of stuff that hasn't ended well we haven't put on camera, but uh yeah, that was the cable. That was one thing the I was yeah. to. Anyways, radiator's in there. Like I said, guys, if you send them pictures of everything, they can get you the exact radiator. But we needed one quick, and this was just a general 379 radiator. But it does have the right intercooler mounts on there, which the other one didn't even have, like, the right ones on there. So it should work. All right, let's get these hoses cut, get them put on there. I've got a couple other little hoses already on there that were still in good shape. We're not replacing. We're about to put the hood on this boy. We're almost done. So we should probably tighten it up as much as it'll go, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. All right, headphone users, watch your ears. All right. <laughs> We got our clamps on here and our hose on. Oh, we may have to put our clamps on afterwards because I got like, Nap only had so many different styles. 
in stock and I wanted to use these instead of those stainless clamps or whatever they are. But uh, get these boys put on here. Move around all these sensor wiring because I think all those coolant sensors and stuff still work, so we don't want to really disturb that too much. Right in here. Right here. We're doing all this work for this thing going to be slinging around this weekend or something. <laughs> That's how it goes. I swear. I swear it. I done swear. If you ain't breaking it, you ain't having fun. Until you learn how much it costs to fix it. Well, I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> I want to sleep in so bad tomorrow. Me too. Poor you Nick wanted to too this morning. What? I didn't get to sleep in this morning. Freaking tiny children. Don't have them unless you're ready to not sleep. What the dog? Little tiny people. So got our intercooler bolted up on here. I got all of our coolant lines bolted back in there with all new clamps. We're putting coolant back in it. I'm sorry I look like I'm on something lately. I'm just extremely tired. I got a sty in my eye right here. We've just been working. <laughs> We've just been working a ton. But what I do like about this is the radiator or the intercooler mounts were there on this radiator. And the one we took out, it was kind of like hacked in there. So this one bolted right up. We used a few new pieces of hardware, but other than that, we're good to go. We'll get a couple gallons of coolant put in here and then fill the rest up with some water out of the water hose. <laughs> Thank goodness we're on city water here. And uh, start this bird up and put the hood on it. Just in case. Just in case the hood hit the floor. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> So there's the wrap. We've got the hood on. Business expense. Shout out to Icebox Performance and Radar Supply House for setting us up with a radiator. This boy is going to keep the truck nice and cool. And like I said, guys, I had no idea they sold anything other than performance stuff. So obviously they do sell direct replacement OE um, style radiators. You guys can go check them out. I'll put all the link in the description below. Go check them guys out. Put a website right here up on the screen. And uh, be looking for us to be traveling out to Oregon. Is it Oregon? Somewhere way out on the West Coast. Where we're going to be building our custom air to air intercooler with Icebox Performance, too. With all that being said, let's load these boys up and go do some sled pulling this week. <laughs>